very personal to me. This like has traumatized me because they were my friends. This is my home. It took away their childhood. It took away my childhood. I've made a completely different life than I probably would have if this man didn't do what he did. In 1988, this woman was a friend and neighbour of Mr. Krull's second victim, a 10-year-old girl from Ringwood. They were our neighbours and friends. Their homes backed onto a cleared right-of-way for high-tension electrical towers. It's a private area for power lines. You'd have to know it was there. You, you could look at either end of that street and not know it was there. That's how secluded this area is. You only would be there if you know about it. For, say, mowing under the power lines or maintenance, only someone who knew those power lines and the access it had to the houses on the back fence, because you can see over the fence without anyone noticing what you're doing. My brother's always played football and cricket under the power lines, and they were the only people up there all the time. So they were up there one day and they saw a man filming over victim two's back fence, video cameraing with a JVC video camera over, her, over the back fence. So he was struggling to make it over because he was about five foot nine to five foot 10. So he was struggling to kind of reach over to film. So when they came up, he was very shocked that he was caught and he took off. And so this happened prior to the kidnapping. And when the kidnapping happened, my brothers told my mum and my mum called the police. The police didn't come, but they had the information because they came years later. And when they did come, they were only there for a few minutes, so they didn't take any information from the boys. So this information is all new. Description of what he was wearing was a long flannelette, kind of baggy, light jeans, very unkept. He didn't look like he took care of himself, very unfit, very unclean, a bit overweight. So he had a belly, round on the face, um, balding on top, kind of long sides, and his hair was like a, a medium brown, very pale skin. This is a sketch of that man described by the brothers. My brother couldn't stress enough like how this man would have stood out to anyone in any industry, like even in an electrical industry, just by his appearance. He had like this persona of just something about this man. Very odd, very strange, like he just that's, what they, that's why they can remember him so specifically now, after 33 years, this man stood out. Yeah, I'm hoping other people might remember and come forward to help catch him. Just because it was 33 years ago, it doesn't, it feels like yesterday. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes and thank you for watching Under Investigation. Subscribe to our channel now for exclusive clips and don't miss out on full episodes of Under Investigation on Nine Now and the Nine Now app.